Good morning, fifth grade. Today we're going to continue reading in our novel, Esperanza Rising, and we're on chapter eight. Before we get started, we have a quick write. It says, how was Esperanza's first day of work at camp? What challenges did she face? So you can talk about doing the laundry, you can talk about taking care of the babies, or you can talk about sweeping the platform. Either one of those are really good options. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the focus question. It says, what does the author want us to see or understand by using extended metaphors throughout the story? And today we're, we want to make sure we can interpret two big metaphors in order to infer themes in the text. Our vocabulary words are vulnerable, and that is when you are susceptible to physical or emotional attack. So this person on the wire is vulnerable to the sharks below. The next word is a custom. And that's something that is customary or typical. So your the routines you do at school are really, a, you're accustomed to doing those things. And then the last word is strike. And that's when a group of people protest by not going to work. And they say that they're not going to work until they get certain conditions met, like higher pay or better conditions. All right, we're on pages 121 through 129 today, and we're in the chapter entitled Almonds. And we're going to be using our CSPS strategy. All right. Oh, my neck hurts, said Mama, as she massaged the back of her head with her hand. It's not my neck, it's my arms that are sore, said Hortensia. All right, and so like everyone is sore as they are, you know, getting used to their new job, turn the page. Um, they sit down to eat dinner, and we're at the bottom of page 122. Miguel came back just before sunset. Senor and Esperanza, we have something to show you. Esperanza looked at Mama. It was obvious Mama was as confused as she was. They all followed Miguel to where Alfonso was waiting. Behind the cabin was an old oval wash tub with one end cut off. It had been set on its side, forming a little shrine around the plastic statue of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Someone had built a grotto of rocks around the base of the tub. Around it, a large plot of earth had been fenced in by sticks and rope and planted with thorny stems, each with only a few branches. Isabella gasped, It's beautiful! Is that our statue? Josefina nodded, But the roses come from far away. Esperanza searched Miguel's face, her eyes hopeful. Papa? Yes, these are your papa's roses, said Miguel, smiling at her. Alfonso had dug circles of earth around each plant. Casitas, little houses, that made moats for deep watering, just like he had done at Aguas Calientes. But how? Esperanza remembered the rose garden as a blackened graveyard. We'll stop right there because we have information about our character. All right, and for our character in box one, we would write, Miguel and Alfonso surprised Esperanza and her mother by planting the rose bushes from Papa's garden behind their cabin. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the quote. And for the quote, we will write down these two sentences on page 123. Esperanza searched Miguel's face, her eyes hopeful. Papa's? Yes, these are your pup, Papa's roses, said Miguel, smiling at her. 
Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready to keep reading. We're at the bottom of page 123. But how? Esperanza remembered the rose garden as a blackened graveyard. After the fire, my father and I dug down to the roots. Many were still healthy. We carried the cuttings from Aguas Calientes. That's why we had to keep them wet. We think they will grow. In time, we will see many bloom. Esperanza bent closer to look at the stems rooted in mulch. They were leafless and stubby, but lovingly planted. She remembered the night before the fire, when she had last seen the roses and had wanted to ask Hortensia to make rosehip tea. But she never had the chance. Now, if they bloomed, she could drink the memories of the roses that had known Papa. She looked at Miguel, blinking back tears. Which one is yours? Miguel pointed to one. Which one is mine? He smiled and pointed to the one that was closest to the cabin wall and ready, already had a makeshift trellis propped against it. So you can climb, he said. Mama walked up and down carefully, touching each cutting. She took Alfonso's hands in her own and kissed him on each cheek. Then she went to Miguel and did the same. Muchas gracias, she said. Mama looked at Esperanza. Didn't I tell you that Papa's heart would find us wherever we go? And this is a really sweet thing that Miguel and Alfonso did for Esperanza and her mom. Um, Miguel made sure that he took the um, plants that their father had planted just for them, and those also made it to the United States with him. So Esperanza is feeling extra special. All right, we're on page 125. The next morning, Hortensia put a piece of fabric over the window and set Alfonso next door with Miguel Juan and the babies. Hortensia, Mama, and Josefina brought in the big wash tubs and filled them half full with cold water. Then they heated pots of water on the stove and warmed the baths. Esperanza was excited about the idea of getting into a tub. All they had done since they arrived was wash their faces and arms with cold water in the sink. She hadn't had a real bath since she left Aguas Calientes. But it was Saturday and tonight was the Jamaica. So the entire camp was getting cleaned up. Baths were being taken, shirts ironed, and hair washed and crimped. We'll stop right there because we have information about the setting. We know it's Saturday morning and the women are in the cabin getting ready for their bath. So in box two, we would write, On Saturday morning, the women gathered in the cabin to take baths before the Jamaica. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the quote. And you would write down this quote in the middle of page 125. Then they heated pots of water on the stove and warmed the baths. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready to keep reading. We're at the bottom of page 125. Hortensia gave Esperanza her bath since she was a baby, and they had established a routine. Esperanza stood near the tub with her arms outstretched while Hortensia undressed her. Then she got in the wash tub and tried not to wiggle while Hortensia washed her. She tilted her head back, keeping her eyes closed while Hortensia rinsed her hair. Finally, she stood up and nodded, which was Hortensia's signal to wrap the towel around her. Esperanza went to one of the wash tubs, put her hands out to her sides, and waited. Josefina looked at Hortensia and raised her eyebrows. Isabel said, Esperanza, what are you doing? We'll stop right there because we have information about the problem. Once again, Esperanza is expecting someone else to do something for her that she should already know how to do. And in box three, we would write, Esperanza does not know how to bathe herself. 
and she expected Hortensia to bathe her, even though Hortensia is no longer her servant. Press pause, write down your answer, and play when you're ready for the quote. You would write down this quote in the middle of page 126. Esperanza went to the wash tubs, put her hands out to her sides, and waited. Josefina looked at Hortensia and raised her eyebrows. Press. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready to keep reading. We're in the middle of page 126. Mama walked over to Esperanza and said softly, I've been thinking that you're old enough to bathe yourself, don't you think? Esperanza quickly dropped her arms and remembered Marta's taunting voice, saying, No one will be waiting on you here. Yes, Mama, she said, and for the second time in two days, she felt her face burning as everyone stared at her. Hortensia came over, put her arm around Esperanza, and said, We are accustomed to doing things a certain way, aren't we, Esperanza? But I guess I'm not too old to change. We will help each other. I will unbutton the buttons you cannot reach, and you will help Isabel, yes? Josefina, we need more hot water in the tubs. On delay, hurry. As Josefina helped her with her blouse, Esperanza whispered thank you. All right, we'll stop right there because we have information about the solution. We know that in box four we would write, Hortensia realized that Esperanza was embarrassed and decided to help her during the bath time. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the quote. You can write down this quote at the top of page 127. As Hortensia helped her with her blouse, Esperanza whispered, thank you. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready to keep reading. Alright, and if we keep reading, we know that everyone gets clean. And it's if they're waiting, Isabel and Esperanza are waiting outside. And Isabel's like, are you going to bad makeup? And Esperanza's like, I don't know, because she's like still embarrassed from the platform incident. And um, then finally Isabel convinces her to go because there's going to be Flande Almendra there, which is one of Esperanza's favorite desserts. All right, and so for the paragraph, we would write, how does Esperanza respond to the rose bush? Why is the rose bush significant to Esperanza? So you'll need to go back to the beginning of the chapter um, to figure out the answer to the question.